Binary Model Export is an add-on for Dymo that allows the user to create executable models that do not require a Dymo license to execute. It applies to all compiled code, including functional mockup units, or FMUs, DLLs, and even EXEs. This feature is useful within organizations and deployment scenarios where model developers create the models for other users to execute. Without Binary Model Export, the executables created by the model developer will require a Dymo license to execute. If the model is compiled with binary model export, however, Dymo licensing is removed from the compiled code. Thus, the user can simulate the model for analyses without installing Dymo or even pulling a shared license. As an example, let's generate an FMU first with binary model export disabled, then with it enabled. First, open the model to use for generating the executable. Now open the License dialog from the Help menu and switch to the Details tab. Notice that the Disable Code Export box is checked. Change to the Simulation tab and translate the model. Open the License dialog from the Help menu again and verify that the feature was not checked out. Open the FMU with the zip file editor and open the model description.xml file. Notice that the generation tool entry reports that the FMU requires license to execute. Close the FMU from the zip file editor and change back to Dymola. Note that the FMU must be closed from the zip file editor, otherwise Dymola will not be able to overwrite the file. Open the license dialog from the help menu again, and now uncheck the disable code export box. Translate the model as an FMU again. Now notice that the binary model export or source code generation license was checked out as reported on the details tab of the license dialog. If this response is not observed, it could mean that the license was not available at the time of translation. Perhaps another user had the license checked out for a network-based license or the license is simply not available. Note that the license is released only when exiting Dymola. Before exiting to release the license, it is a good idea to recheck the Disable Code Export box so that the license will be free for other users when Dymola is next restarted. Finally, open the FMU again in the zip file editor and also the model description.xml file. Notice that the FMU no longer reports that a license is required to execute. Congratulations, you now have a license free FMU to use with tools such as FMI Toolbox for MATLAB Simulink or FMI add-in for Excel, along with many other FMI compliant tools. Thank you for watching. Visit our website to learn more about Modelon solutions for model-based engineering.